name is Alex and I'm from Mr D's class. This is part 2 in a series of 14 on fractions. To get an equivalent fraction, you have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Let's choose 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. We have 2 quarters. 2 quarters is the same as 1 half. Let's try another one, so we'll go even further. 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 4 eighths. 4 eighths is the same as 2 quarters. And 2 quarters is the same as 1 half. OK, this time we'll do 2 thirds. Instead of using 2 this time, you can multiply the, the numerator and the denom denominator by any number. Let's choose 5 this time. So 2 times 5 is 10. And 3 times 5 is 15. This time, how about we do the 2 on 3? times a hundred. So two times a hundred is two hundred. And three times a hundred is three hundred. So two thirds is equivalent to ten fifteenths, which is equivalent to two hundred on three hundred. Twenty on forty. To do simplifying, you have to find a number that goes into both of them. Let's try 10. So 10 into 20 goes twice. And 10 into 40 goes four times. But we can go even further because 2 goes into both of them. 2 goes into 1, 2 goes into 2 once. And 2 goes into 4 twice. It's one half. Nothing else goes into one half because as soon as it gets to the one, nothing else can go into it. Okay, we've started off with 20 on 40 and then we simplified it down to one half. When doing calculations, it's easier to use one half than 20 fortieths. This is why simplification is important. Okay, we've got, here's another one. We've got 27 on 81. It's a very big fraction, so we'll try and simplify it. What goes into 27 and 81? 9 does. So, 9 into 27 goes 3 times. And 9 into 81 goes 9 times. So it's 3 ninths. Or this way, we can go again. 3 into 3 goes once. And 3 into 9 goes 3 times. Well, we had this huge number and we've gone straight down to a simple one third. That's pretty good. Thank you. I hope this has helped you with equivalent fractions. And remember, you can multiply or divide both the numerator and the denominator to get an equivalent fraction. Thank you. Goodbye.